my gosh. Okay, so I am so excited. What? 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 <laughs> no, What's I, that I, gross? No, I, no, I just like to bully you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I have a special video today with my family's best friend and housemate, Callum McFabulous. That's me. So, what are we doing today, Callum? <laughs> What's this video in aid of? Uh, it's our three year anniversary, so we are answering anniversary questions. <laughs> <laughs> So it's been three years since we officially moved in together and it's like been a crazy roller coaster of a ride. So I went onto Twitter and on Instagram and asked for all of your questions about our relationship. Hopefully you might find out some secret knowledge. Ooh. Ooh. So what's the hardest thing you've dealt with as roommates? Also, do you... <laughs> you <laughs> you've had other roommates and <laughs> you who aren't around anymore. Why do you think you stay together and they <laughs> moved on? We just work very well together. Yeah, we get on. I think it takes a very unique kind of friendship to live together. Friends should not live together, mm -hmm. and yet we somehow fit. Yeah. And I actually think it's more to do with our differences than our similarities. Uh -huh. I think people clash and fall out because they're too similar. I mean, I'm a nice person. You're. Why must you swear on my track? No, 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 no. I became very PC and like I'm sweary and then you've become more, it's like you've taken my place. They just bleep my mouth and then you still get brand deals. <laughs> <laughs> they hate when I look, babe, I'm not gonna get brand deals. I'll be mean, like, like, it better help even come back. <laughs> How many times a week do you actually blind each other with nudity? I feel like I blind Roly every day. I mean, that was quite recent. I like he didn't close his door. I went to go to literally look in the mirror, like down the hallway, <laughs> and I just heard the screaming. He runs away. All I see is his ass. <laughs> I was like, why did you close the door? I or can't something? be bothered to close doors. I will actually admit though. Sorry, just cut you off there because I'm more important. Realistically, like we, you've never seen me naked ever, 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 never, ever, ever. I've only seen you naked because you've sent me nudes. Yeah, I do that. Who has the worst hangover after a night out? Me. You were ah uh, no. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, no. Wait, wait, wait. You get a hangover every time and you get them pretty bad. I tend not to get them, but I think if I do get them, mine lasts for like three days. <laughs> no, that's because you take care. <laughs> don't take care. That's not He's true. He's in the K-hole with like, <laughs> What does the K-hole feel like? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I actually have really bad hangovers and I always get hungover all the time. And now I'm getting yeah. older. When we first started going out together, like that was 2015, I was okay, but now I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <listen. laughs> when was the last time you felt normal? It's been 83 <laughs> years. <laughs> so this question was kind of like, I literally got so many people asking this question and it's who is the messiest? I, mm. okay, so after three, you say who you think it is. We can do on three if you want. Okay, so one, two, three, both of us. Well, this is why I wanted to no! <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> no, you go on, you tell me why you think I'm the messiest then. Go on, go on. Uh, Wrong. You, Roly is very good at doing like a big clean and cleaning everything and scrubbing the floors yeah. and doing all of that yeah. stuff. But I'm better as, at staying clean as I go. My, my answer was going to be, I feel like we're both messy in different ways. Yes. Like Callum, like Callum's basically like this flipping eBay addict or whatever. I don't know where, all of a sudden all these packages are coming and then I come to the kitchen, I've just cleaned everything and there's just boxes and yeah, paper all over everyone. That's true. I'm like, I've just done this. I pick up after that they're made. But then like, <laughs> and like a lot of the times sometimes he'll make bread and just leave crumbs all yeah, over do, the side. Yeah, and I'm do. just like, we're both messy in some ways, but we, we it's not in a way that's, damaging to relationship wise. But yeah, I'm just like whatever. Except when he has scat parties in the living room. Look, and like, I like scat parties feces in the living room. All over the Look, floor. I clean it up. Do you see any feces on the wall right now? Yes, up there. Well, that's why we turned the camera this way. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you've done together? I mean, I th the only thing I can remember that we did that was annoying. I mean, we spoke about it before, but it's when we got locked out of the house because neither one of us took our keys out. Oh my God. <laughs> Halloween 2016, I wanted, yeah, because Kieran was still living there. Halloween 2016, we both went out. Neither one of us took keys out because we just thought the other person had one. And I, I didn't have pockets, which is the reason I didn't bring them out. I was in a Spider-Man suit, which had no pockets. Back then, I mean, it's not, it's not like that now, but I remember when I first moved in, I would never bring my keys out. You yeah, always and I'd be like, Rolly, bring them out, get your keys. <laughs> Obviously I didn't bring mine. So we were just, we had to like stand outside our building for like an hour and, and a half. And then we to say before someone managed to get us in. And then we slept outside, like inside the building, but in the hallway outside the yeah. front door. To I don't know how you even got into the building. Have you ever walked in on the other person doing a sexual act? No, actually. Like, Either way like, around, I don't think. I mean, I've heard <laughs> sexual things happen, <laughs> but it's always I hear the person that he's torturing rather than himself. <laughs> it's true. So, I like to make them squeal. A, a common question as well is, do we ever argue? Yes, 
Just saw us do it on camera. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's the extent of it. You're an asshole, you're a bitch, don't be so stupid, end off. I feel like we've only ever had a, like, even s tinyly serious argument. Like mm. And even those were mine. And that was when he slept with my boyfriend. Can help that. He was sexy, sexy for me. It really wasn't. <laughs> you just see him naked. I can't is how much does Rodi eat cereal and how much does Callum hate it? Yeah. He took all the bowls and put them in his bedroom this morning just so I couldn't have cereal. I had to have my cereal like the Pyrex jug. Here's the photos of proof. I, d <laughs> I was hungry at 1am and I made pasta pesto and I left the bowl in my room. Pasta pesto? More like pesto pasta. That's weird that you call it that way around, don't hold. Oh, having an argument. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing we do argue about. Etymology. Yeah. Rodi's a posh, silly bugger. Oh, you're about to say it. Please. Um, and I... Uh, I'm common as, common as free. <laughs> Demonetize, like Callum, you're the reason we're getting paid this month. Has any of your guys' hobbies slash interests rubbed off on each other? Ooh. I mean, one thing that you have never got is like paranormal stuff. I constantly watch things about yeah. paranormal stuff and I thought like <clears throat> he would get it, but like he doesn't understand that at all. Like he's not even rubbed off on him. One thing that hasn't rubbed off from me from him is that scat party. Look, um, look, I just have one a week <laughs> and I, I put sheets down. I don't do anything. <laughs> I know. Pizza. I used to be a Pizza Hut person and he converted me to Domino's. That when, I, when I met Roly, he was one of those monsters that would order a margarita. DON'T EXPOSE ME! <laughs> <laughs> now he's like, meets, 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 um, meets. Yeah, I'm listening like it doesn't have at least 10 dead what animals on it. What about cooking? Like. You never were really interested in cooking and now I feel like you're slowly starting to be interested in cooking. I had an entire series on my channel where I met you called Queer Cooking, where I would cook things all the time. Do not come for me! Is if like, fake fan, fake friend, right, I'm moving out. <laughs> no, but I mean like... No, we're done. We're Go. done. Lights off, done. What was your first clubbing experience together like? What probably happened was Rolly was here having a good time, dancey, 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 and then I saw a boy and disappeared. That's probably how the night went. Not much has changed now. <laughs> I don't go out with him anymore. <laughs> One of the first experiences we had together was Rolly sniff me, do I smell bad? Yeah, no, that's, that's real. I, it was, this club was so hot that I was like dripping. It was like, Rolly sniff me, and he was like, you smell fine. Was a lie. It was a lie, but the thing is, I was it, I was too nude then, I felt too awkward. Like, this is the second time we had hung out. So I remember his exact words were, I think we're at the level of friendship now where you can do this and tell me the truth. And I was like, Yeah, you smell fine. Haha, <laughs> liar. But then if I was to say to you, You stink, what would you, what would you have done? But like, what would you have done? Because you couldn't have got, like, there was no, you felt like you got soap, you could wash yourself. True. There wasn't any, like, deodorant anywhere. So me telling you smell, all that would have done would have made you be paranoid. If there was an opportunity for you to wash yourself or, like, make yourself smell nicer, this sounds really weird. I would have said to you, know, yeah, go, you can, here's, here's a bar of soap. My intentions were honourable, thank you. So take back what you just said. Liar! <laughs> What's the one in-joke that you two have that is guaranteed to make you wet yourself with laughter? Do the noise! <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> oh, as if he likes to eat pussy. <laughs> all the time, which, I mean, in every video, everything we get done is, are we having sex? Are we together? Are we friends with benefits? And literally, I don't know how many more times I have to tell you, yes! <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, how do we get it through? No, I need a top. I can top. We've had this discussion several times. You have to thumb it in. You have to thumb it in. <laughs> you have to use something else. Callum's like anal sex. I do. It's not, for me, anal sex isn't like a thing that I have to have, but I know it's something that's and I enjoy doing it with someone and it's something that would cause a rift eventually. Also, I feel it'd be very ancestral at this point. Oh, it would be weird. It'd be, I don't think I could it'd do it without weird. laughing. Oh, oh yeah. I'm like giggling. Right. Like, <laughs> I am not Callum's type in the slightest. Like, and I'm not Roni's type. He likes a masked dong daddy. Yeah, a masked dong daddy. Yeah. What's each other's best quality? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking of all the nice things. No, you were like, oh, let me think of what I can think of because he's a bastard. Loyalty. He'll knife a bitch. <laughs> Frodi went to a party and somebody in that room was like, oh, that Callum's a bit annoying, isn't it? Frodi would be like, dead to me. Mm -hmm. And even I would be like, no, 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 I'm sure they said it for a reason. Like, we can Set forgive them. Reason. And Frodi's like, no, dead to me. Dead to me, don't know. So Callum's best quality, I would say, is the fact that he's very uh, giving. Um, just not in bed. He's not a selfish person in the slightest. Like, if you need anything, he'll do whatever he can to 
give it to you or like give you aid towards what you need or something like he's but only for people i love another question that was a lot was what are some of your weird habits that you didn't know about beforehand oh i'm so disgusting callum's gross i'm so disgusting don't check one thing i've noticed about you that you might not know that you do you breathe like a dog <laughs> Like you just sit there and instead of you breathing normally, you you take like these go. That sounds so annoying. You do that and I don't know why you do it. I jump at everything. Oh my god, how did I not I, like it's like I cannot describe to you how he jumps. At everything. I walked in the door the other day and he like jumped out of his skin because I opened the door. That's because you didn't just open it, even. <laughs> I just like, opened the door. Wait. And then it's like, I'll open the fridge and he jumps out of his skin or like, I put down a mug too loudly. It's not just like, it's not just a little, it's like a <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Like he's horrified all the time of everything. What's the first thing you hated about each other? Taking you places that you don't want to be. Rowley has a certain standard of where he's happy, and if, I, if he's not in a place where he's not happy, he becomes the most miserable old bastard. Well, give an example. Over there! <laughs> if we go too far down that road! No, that's because it's Murderville! <laughs> yeah, but everything is Murderville to you. No. <laughs> Callum seems like Aso. Callum likes to go everywhere, and I'm like, as great as Ryan the Saw, you go where you want, love. You live your life, girl. I am very aware that I stick up like a sore thumb when we go to certain areas. And I'm like, everyone's gonna look at me, everyone's looking at me, everyone's gonna stab me when I sleep. Everyone's gonna stab me if I just breathe. Everyone's gonna stab me if I look at them the wrong way. I wouldn't let them stab you. The fact that you need to say that is worrying to start with. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes we go places and it's like, well, we might both get stabbed. When we walked through Bethnal Green, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> that area you took me, I was like, I'm literally gonna get mugged. Isn't that where, like, Marina Joyce went missing? <laughs> I have a weird thing, like, I, I obviously don't realise I do it, but Callum's always goes, you're doing the thing. I slightly trail behind him. Oh yeah, it's like he'll walk behind me ever so slowly, almost like I'm his bodyguard. But he doesn't even realise he does it, and I'm like, okay, he doesn't like it here. Rowley's like really worried about being in trouble all the time. Like the time we tried to go on the roof of those buildings and you like just like pretending you were part of the, the part of the establishment and I was like, no, and I felt too awkward. No, 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 thanks. No, thanks. I like to play, I'm, I I'm like, a rule breaker. Yeah, and that's why you get arrested. How has your relationship changed over the years you've lived together? So we've had a lot of like, our friendship group in London has been very unique since I started like living with you. At one point, we our, our old house in Stratford was basically like the YouTube hub. It was constant. Constantly people here, constantly people staying over, parties, we'd have like 50 people in mm -hmm. the house, yeah. like all the time. I, I do feel like me and you have become a little bit more, I think we're a lot more selective now with who we be friends with and who we sort of let into our, because we've had a few people who have used us and who have taken advantage of our friendshipness. We've had people who have used us to film in our house or to, you know, use us for numbers or be seen or something and like we've got rid of them. This is multiple, multiple people. So don't be like, this is this personal, it's multiple people yeah, who've yeah, been so in our lives over the years. We have got larger and we have to realize that some people, we know a lot of social climbers. We yeah. know people who aren't even part of our friendship group who we've seen social climb with other people. And you have to think about that when you get to a certain size, because it's like, do these people want to be friends with me or do they want to? Yeah. And like the majority, the majority of the people we do make friends with now happen to be in this world because yeah. in all the places we socialize, it's other people who are in this world. So it can, yeah. be, can be difficult to make friends and trust people. And I feel like we, like you were just saying, we've been taken advantage of by so many people mm -hmm. on so many different occasions that now we're like a lot more selective. I find the interesting thing that they, don't, they probably don't know who our closest friends are. Does YouTube ever get in the way of your friendship? I filmed with a lot of people over my time and this is no shade to anyone else that I filmed with. I think because Callum was a YouTuber as well, he knew how to, you, you know, do everything. And I think us filming together has been one of the perfect kind of matches that I've actually had on YouTube. And the fact that we live together yeah. and that we're best friends and we hang out all the time and we know each other inside out. It's almost like, I think sometimes when you're making videos, you can even like, you talk over each other and stuff, but when you're so used to somebody, it's like we almost like know when to take it in Yeah, turns. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so is it my turn? <laughs> <laughs> we must have filmed over 30 videos now together. Yeah. And it's one even the first time, because we, we'll obviously do a reaction to our old videos together at some point, but like even our first video, you, I mean, I, I shocked you a little with some of the things I was saying, but even then it was like, 
instantly yeah, like, works. we work well together. This isn't like a business thing. This is a genuine friendship that we have with each other that we want to share with you guys. We have made so many videos together. Then I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a card as well. Go and watch any of our videos. I put like a big playlist of all of them together. Funny to see how different we are. We are so different now than we were when we first I started don't out. I think we are different. And then I see the videos and I'm like, who the hell are they? Mm -hmm. Like so different. The things that we used to talk about, the how we used to act, the things like just, I think a lot of it just comes from age, but you know, we, it's so gradual for us that when you look back, you're like, whoa, yeah. Anyway, guys, this has been a lot of fun. Hopefully we managed to answer your questions. Like some things I did miss because we've obviously said them before in old videos um, like, about memories and like having stories and all that kind of stuff. So please, again, go check out our playlist. There's so many videos there. So go binge watch them. You can go and have a bit of fun. Have like, get some popcorn, get some Coke um, and the drinking kind. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> you can watch through all of them. But please make sure you hit the like button because it does really, really help me out. Comment down below any things you do want to know or anything else or like just, just comment down below <laughs> come follow us on our social medias all the links are in the description and in the comment section but thank you so much for making it to the end of this video a massive shout out to Erin Durich Galaxy Starfire Catherine Lamb Kelly Bowser Meryn Goldie Michelle Erickson and Philippa Clark for becoming my top Patreons I love you so much thank you for like, thank you for being a Patreon um, make sure you do uh, join Patreon down below there's a link in the description be fabulous amazing be gay be everything you want to be and don't let any bitch that they come at you because you are flawless yes Yes. 